Welcome. And today we're going to be looking at the application of the kite method uh, created by Barbara Steed. In a previous video, I discussed the five principles that Steed believes uh, will help with scripture interpretation. And I also discussed the kite method. Just to review that, that focuses on know the text, so learn about the text itself. This is shown on the screen in the blue uh, squares. So this is where we get into a deep uh, analytical understanding of the text itself to truly understand it. Our next step uh, is to inspire the imagination. This is where we get the student to think about imagine or what if, could. So getting their creativity going and applying that uh, to the piece of scripture. Next is we're looking to translate it to their life. So in a previous video I talked about uh, the story of Zacchaeus in Luke's Gospel. You know, how would you feel if you were excluded? What happens uh, if you were Zacchaeus in that particular situation? So getting the scripture to resonate with them in terms of a previous experience that they might have had and to their lives. And the final feature of the kite method is to express the heart. This is where we're going to use the piece of scripture uh, that you're teaching your class uh, and incorporate prayer. Now this could be through our Lexio Divina, through reflections. It could also be through chant in terms of there could be a key word or a line uh, that they would like to uh, remind themselves of quietly or they might say it out loud or they could write a prayer around a particular feature or aspect of the scripture that you're looking at. Now with the kite method that's really powerful because they have a really strong understanding of it because they have an excellent knowledge of the content and knowing the text. You've inspired their imagination and then you've translated it to their life and this is a really important uh, final step. So thank you for watching, have a look at the resource and use it in your class.